Hello, this is Paul from quickandmobile.com and say hello to Toby here. Uh, we have today a very special video to make. We have two chairs that you're going to see right there. And one, even though they may look similar, one's an Electra 7 and one is a fake chair. It's a total imposter. So before we really kind of get into the nuts and bolts of how to identify an imposter and what an imposter is and why an imposter is dangerous, perfect opportunity to pause the video to learn where to find us online. Okay, that opportunity is passed. Let's take a look at these chairs and let's see what we're getting into here. Now, both chairs at, at first glance will look similar. You know, one is uh, marketed as uh, an XL uh, wide seat chair. And if we take a look at the tape measure, the space in between the armrests, we have just over 20 inches. And then the Electra 7, if we take a look at the Electra 7, that has almost 21 inches of space in between the armrests. Now, one of these chairs, the Electra 7, we know for a fact it's an FDA approved medical device and it holds up to 400 pounds. FDA approved. So you get the benefit of understanding that this chair has been evaluated by the United States FDA and it is approved. Now this chair that I'm standing by right here, you can see we taped off all the, all the branding. We're not into shaming other companies. We're not into shaming other individuals. But I do want to point out a few things with this chair. Now this chair, even though it has some marketing material that would make it similar to the Electra 7, it's, it's not produced from the same factory, okay? Any company that sells these their supplies are very limited because the actual molds that were used to make this chair had to be for forfeited, actually forfeited, to the producers of the Eagle Falcon Electra 7, factory that produces these chairs. Because this chair, we can take a look, we can start to point out some of the differences here. It has a serial number, an Eagle will, a Falcon will, an Electra 7 will, it has a serial number. So that's how you understand if it is an authentic chair. Now if we take a look over here to our imposter, I mean take a look at this. This is how this arrived from the actual unpackaged. So I mean, you know, the, the actual quality and we're gonna get a lot more into some quality issues as we go on, but there's, there's no serial number right here. No way to identify it. So it's just like going to New York City and being in the, in the, in the streets and basically getting a Louis Vuitton bag for, for $50. Are you getting a real Louis Vuitton bag? No, you're not. Does it look like one? It probably has some similarities. But let's take a look here again. And the quality here, we have good workmanship, good craftsmanship. So we'll go ahead and put this away right here and we'll start to point out some of the differences in, in this chair. First difference that I really wanna point out is basically in the craftsmanship. So this chair right here has been taken out of the box. I have ridden in the chair one time Chair's not been tampered with, hasn't been touched. We just simply haven't had time to make videos lately. Now, there's a reason why things are evaluated by the FDA and FDA approved. This, look at this. I'm able to, with my hand, right away start to manipulate one of the primary bolts in this chair. I mean, this is just out of the box. This is. That, that's unacceptable. That to me, that's that's a major safety hazard. I mean, look at this. No manipulation here for me. I just took this thing out of the box. I really wanted to to honestly have a good a good test, see how it is. Are they actually making a good product or not? And I mean, you be the judge right there. Do you want do you want a chair that has major components in the frame that you can just unscrew with your hand? take a look over here at the Electra 7. Now this has been a demo unit for a while. I've put this thing through the paces. I've beat it up. 
I can't touch that. I can't touch this one. Can't do it. No chance. I mean, we have some other similarities here. We have basically, they, they both have the clamp. Uh, they both have similar motors. But one, I've got a good sturdy feel to this chair. This thing feels flimsy to me. I move it, it feels like everything in the frame has a lot of play where I'm moving this back and forth, same force. I don't feel the actual frame jarring. I'm pushing down and I'm shaking it back and forth. See a lot more play here than I do here. Okay, so this is one that's approved by the FDA. This is one that's not. This is a cheap knockoff over here, a cheap knockoff. And one, unfortunately, that people have paid their hard-earned money for, and because there's no more molds for this chair to continue to be sold, what's going to happen when things start to break? What's going to happen when the wheels start to break? What's going to happen when things like the batteries need to be replaced? How are you going to get service on a chair that's a knockoff? And do you even feel safe driving a chair that may or not may or may not be rated by the FDA. So here's, here's another really useful tidbit of advice for people that are shopping around for portable folding wheelchairs. The term wheelchair, when you call something a wheelchair, that a motorized wheelchair is a term reserved for class two FDA registered devices. They're tax exempt. You don't have to pay sales taxes on an FDA approved medical device. Now something that we don't know if this is a, 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 a FDA approved device or not. I would guess that it's probably not. The reason that I would guess it's probably not is because, well, the mold had to be forfeited to begin with, so this is not gonna be something that's currently being produced. Instead of calling it a personal mobility device where people would understand that there might be some sort of issue, I don't I, I wanna I want a wheelchair. I don't want a personal mobility device because a wheelchair has been approved by the FDA and is tax exempt, where a personal mobility device, we don't know if that's been approved by the FDA, and it should not be tax exempt because it hasn't been cleared by the FDA. Let's take a look at this. Come over here a second, please. I, as I'm, as I'm kind of moving around here, I, I'm not straining, I'm not doing anything hard, but take a look at the play in this joystick. Look, I mean, talk about the bolts here. Talk about the craftsmanship here. I mean, this thing's shaking like a leaf. Come over here, same force. The chair bends a little bit as it's supposed to, but there's, it's not because things are loose. It's not because of the play in the, in the bolts that aren't properly secured. Take a look at this, big difference. Big difference here. This thing's shaking like a leaf. I mean, look at this. Look at the poor craftsmanship here. I mean, that arm might just vibrate right off the chair as far as I'm concerned. And over here again, we don't have the same malleability. This is, I'm working a lot harder to do a lot less. We do a couple other little tests here. Now, we have available to our customers leg extension kits, headrests, basically all accessories, tendon controller brackets that would allow you to mount the joystick on the back of the chair and if you've, if you've gone to our website, unfortunately, we have had to tell our customers that you have to check a box to agree that the leg extension kit that you would purchase from quickandmobile.com is only going to be used on chairs, the Eagle, the Electra, the Falcon, or the Airhawk. Now let's take a look at how this goes in. So we're going to take a look at some of the other differences between a, a knockoff and a real Electra 7. So this slides right into the caster, okay? That's how this works. Everything is shaped for the caster. This chair has been called the D09 by the factory, the model. 
and some of the other companies that call the chair the D-09, you would think they're compatible, right? But look at this caster, it looks a little bit different. Now I'm gonna try to put this leg extension kit here, and guess what, I can't. So that's, that's an issue. That looks a lot different, and it behaves differently. And then there's, there's of course, with the Electra 7, with the, with the genuine wide chair, let's take a look at the cushion here. You can see this cushion, the craftsmanship on this cushion. It, it doesn't even, it's not even a perfect square. It's got 19 inches. And kind of narrows a little bit here. Look at that. Through, to the front of this, this has got 17 and a half inches. I mean, that's supposed to be a square cushion. I mean, is that... I mean, that looks, it, and it just, it, it looks funky just sitting there. I guess that's the best word that I can think of to describe it. It looks funky sitting there. But it's, it's a knockoff. I mean, what do people expect? Where the Electra 7, you basically take a look at the actual width of this, the cushion itself. Close to 21 inches. Let's take a look at the back of this. Close to 21 inches. Let's take a look at the front of this. Just under 20, ergonomically sound. And it looks aesthetically pleasing. It looks as it should, it doesn't, it doesn't look funky. Now let's take a look at a couple other things here. Now the front wheels, you're gonna notice a slight difference in the front wheels of the knockoff chair and a difference in the Electra 7. Now, some people would go under the impression that bigger is better because these are close to two inches in, in thickness, and these are almost eight inches. These are about an inch and a half, and let's take a look here, seven inches, okay? And you drill some holes in it, you make it look kind of mean, but let's take a look at when you actually move the chair. Now what I want you to look at between the, the, the differences here, let's look at the side of the footrest. And this is going to become very relevant. When I'm turning the chair, look at how much space I have doing a turn at that, at that one short point. Just take a look at that. And let's, let's go ahead and, and do a measurement. The reason knockoffs are not a good idea. Less than an inch right there. Less than an inch of space. Now let's take a look at the Electra 7 here. When you're turning, we're turning here, and we see the same situation comes up right here, and we have almost two inches of space. So, if you think about it, with this chair, how do I need to have my feet on the actual, kind of worried to even sit in this thing. How do I need to have my feet in the footrest? I need to be really right here, keeping my knees together, sitting in a very uncomfortable position. And I mean, it kind of feels like I'm back, so I don't have any neck support. I mean, it feels to me very awkward if I'm sitting in this chair the actual, the actual cushion is just a little bit higher than the Electra 7, so it basically, it, it puts the, the back support bar in what I would consider a, a back breaker position. It's, it's not comfortable for me to sit here. And if I wanna sit here and have the ability to actually go through mobility in this chair, I have to keep this posture. I can't have a posture and you can see the wheel's gonna prevent me from having my feet where I want my feet on the footrest. Otherwise, my feet are gonna get smacked right off the footrest by the wheel. Okay, now here, with the Electra 7, I'm sitting in it. This is a lot more, a lot more comfortable. A lot more comfortable. My back feels more comfortable. My arms feel more comfortable in the chair. I don't feel that it's grinding in. I'm leaning back in the chair. I don't feel that I need a headrest, so this is an ergonomic chair. It's an FDA registered and approved chair. Is this chair a little bit more expensive than the knockoff? You betcha it is, but there's a reason that this chair is pricier than this. 
Okay, there's a reason. So you buy this one and guess what folks? Things, things need to be repaired. You have a limited window of time before there can be a repair. We store all of our inventory in the United States of America. We can do any repair at any time with these chairs. And furthermore, take a look at where my foot is on the footrest. I can have my feet, even, even when that wheel is closest, all the way to the outside of the footrest. I can have my knees in a very comfortable position. I don't have to sit like this and create a lot of discomfort by sitting in this chair that I would in this chair. Now, of course, it's easy to put this chair in locked mode. I'm not even going to try this on this chair because I, I just, quite frankly, I, I don't want to hurt myself. But with the Electra 7, it's FDA approved and rated for up to 400 pounds. So I'm not scared. I'm not worried to do things in this chair. The other thing that becomes a big issue with imposters, especially imposters that basically will, will say that they're the same model number as a real chair. Now we've seen that it doesn't have a serial number. We've seen the, the malleability in, in the frame of the chair. We've seen how the wheels are different here. But let's take a look at the batteries. Can you replace a battery? I mean, these batteries, they, they look different. This is the fake, this is the real. So let's just say that, because we sell batteries on our website. Let's just say that, well, I thought this was a, a D09. Not happening, folks. That battery is not going into the chair. It's not gonna work, okay? Just, I mean, they look similar, but that one fits and, and the real one, the genuine doesn't. And I guess in, in kind of closing, you know, we've got two chairs here. I know that people bargain shop. I know that people price shop. I do the same thing. But when you're looking for a medical device, the, really the question comes down to do you want to spend a little bit more money and do the right thing the first time and have peace of mind or do you want to save a couple bucks and get something that may or not, may not work and in my opinion if you're going for a knockoff you're taking your hard-earned money you're, you're taking your, your hard-earned money right here and you are basically just putting it right in the toilet because that's that's what this quality is in my opinion it's junk and it's something that should just be flushed right down the toilet that's why it's not going to be available for that much longer and that's why we're not even mentioning the company's name but we know what we have we know a good product and we thank you for watching and we encourage you to leave any comments below or we encourage you to give us a telephone call Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on quickandmobile.com.